guys, what is up? Welcome to my new After Dark Cook and Clean With Me video full of cooking and cleaning motivation for you guys. I'm Courtney Lynn and in today's video I'm sharing our favorite vegetable soup recipe that I made for our family and also sharing some spice crackle cookies that are super easy to whip up. So come along for this After Dark Clean With Me and let's tackle those after dinner to-do lists together. Okay, so first things first on the agenda tonight, I am going to be making dinner for my family and this is my great aunt's recipe, but it's just a really yummy and easy vegetable soup. So I'm starting with a bag of frozen mixed vegetables, some potato, some celery, and also some onion. And I'll be posting the exact amounts um, in the description box below so you guys can check that out. So I'm just adding all of these ingredients into the pot and then I'm going to add water until the water completely covers all of the vegetables. And then I'll place that back on the stove and let that cook until all the vegetables are completely cooked. And so we're also adding some salt and pepper and garlic salt and we just do this to taste. We don't really um, measure this out, we just kind of eye it. So while all the veggies were cooking, we went ahead and made some ground beef and now I'm just adding all of the ground beef into the soup. And then once I get that done, I'm gonna be adding some tomato sauce, just one can of tomato sauce. And then also, this is very optional right here. We've, we've made this with or without before, but we add a cup of barley into this and it just adds a little bit of more texture to the soup, I guess would be the right way to say a little bit of flavor. So with adding all of these ingredients, we let it cook from anywhere to 20 to 30 minutes, depending on um, your liking, you know, just keep checking on it every once in a while, but this is seriously it. That's all that you have to do. You just add the ingredients in and let the stove do its thing, and then it's ready to be served. So of course we needed some crackers to go with our soup. Sometimes we would make cornbread, but tonight we just kept it simple did some oyster crackers and some saltine crackers and it was ready to go and our family loves this like I said and it's super easy to make and an easy cleanup too. So now dinner is finished and it was delicious. I absolutely love this meal. One of my favorite soups that we have made in our family for years and years. So now I'm just gonna be cleaning up our dining room area, clearing the table, wiping it down, just making sure that everything that's in here is cleaned up and then I'm gonna get started on the kitchen. I can hide. So as you can see when I pulled this chair out, it has zero padding on it. Well, we are doing a little experiment. We pulled the padding off and we're trying to wash it and then we're going to reupholster it on back onto the chair. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be in a future video. You guys will not believe the before and afters that you're gonna see with these chairs. So now I'm just resetting the table with our Valentine's Day decor. And if you guys missed the Valentine's Day decor video, that I posted last week. I'll go ahead and link that here um, so you guys can watch that 
um, be sure to check that out and give it a thumbs up if you like that. Hopefully you'll find some home decor inspiration. We like to keep it pretty simple with our Valentine's Day decor, but I just thought this was um, a fun way to set our table. So now moving on into the kitchen, as you can see the countertops weren't too terribly bad. There was lots of dishes that needed to be done and lots of stuff that needed to be put away. But what better time to do it than during an after dark clean, right? So we had leftover soup. We went ahead and put those into some containers for the kids and my dad to take the next day for lunch. So I'm just gonna start putting everything away that's out on the countertops. And then once I get that all cleaned up, I'm gonna wipe down the countertops. So I am using some sprayway glass cleaner right here to um, clean up the microwave after I've wiped it down. The sprayway glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth just makes it really, really nice looking afterwards, gives it a nice little gloss and shine. So like I said, the stovetop was not bad at all. We just made the soup, so there really wasn't anything out on the stovetop. Um, but I'm just gonna be wiping it down with the cleaner that I'm using for the countertops and then a little bit of sprayway as well here on the, on the stovetop to just give it a little bit of shine as well. So if you guys have Instagram, be sure to go over to Instagram and follow me there for more of my day-to-day -day lifestyle. My username is Courtney underscore lens and I would love to get to know you guys a little bit better on there as well as here on YouTube. So be sure that you're following me over there on Instagram and also that you're subscribed here to my channel. I just thought I would remind everyone that subscribing to someone's channel is completely free. I know the term subscribe these days usually means some, some sort of payment, but YouTube is completely free. So be sure you guys subscribe and give my video a thumbs up, comment, anything like that. It all helps my channel out so much. So now I'm moving on to the other side of the kitchen and I'm gonna be clearing a small space right here because now we're gonna make some yummy spice crackle cookies. So the ingredients that you need is some salt, some baking soda, some powdered sugar, some vanilla, some pumpkin pie spice, some flour, some brown sugar, and then also some margarine butter and one egg. 
So first of all, you just throw the margarine butter in, make sure it's softened, and go ahead and add your brown sugar, and we're gonna mix those together until it's pretty creamy. Then go ahead and add an egg, and then add your vanilla, and we're gonna blend those together as well. I will put the full recipe to this down in the description box so you guys can follow along a little bit better. Once that's all blended together, you're gonna add flour and then also some baking soda and a little bit of salt. And don't forget your pumpkin pie spice as well. And then I just mix those all together and then you're gonna keep that powdered sugar separate. We're gonna put that into a little bowl and that's gonna be what we roll our cookies in before we bake them. So we have these cooking baking sheets and they're just nice little papers that are already pre-cut for your baking pan. So I take a little bitty piece of dough, roll it up into a ball, roll it around in some powdered sugar, place it on the baking tin, and that's it. So I really like using Weight Watchers. I'm a very big Weight Watchers fan. I love how it keeps me accountable and it's very easy to use their point system and their app is so convenient if you needed to scan or look up anything from a restaurant or a home recipe, anything is very nice and convenient. So these are actually very Weight Watchers friendly. One of these cookies is only one point and they are a little bit small, but they're perfect if you just need a little pick me up. So in the oven they go for about seven to eight minutes and I think we just ended up doing seven minutes. I like cookies a little bit more on the doughy side. So this is our three tiered um, cooling rack that we got from Amazon. I will link that down below for you guys. This thing is awesome. Not only is it so convenient to have three different levels, but it looks really cool too. So while the cookies are baking, I'm gonna go ahead and load some dishes into the dishwasher and then also do some dishes by hand. And I had begun washing some dishes before I realized that I had just bought some gloves from Ross, um, some rubber gloves to wear while washing dishes because I know sometimes washing dishes can be hard on your nails and I know that sounds so silly to say but um, the gloves really help not to make your nails brittle while you're washing your dishes. So now the rest of these dishes, I'm gonna just be washing by hand and then placing on that little drying rack we have on the other side of our sink. So I think I've talked about this before, but when we wash dishes, we have found that if you use a dryer sheet, um, when you're like, when you have like a pan that needs, you know, to be scrubbed or there's something on a dish, um, before you use your little scrubber that you use soap with to clean it, we like to take the dryer sheet and scrape all of the food or gunk or whatever is stuck onto the dish. And the dryer sheet works like magic, you guys. It seriously pulls stuff off so easily. I've used dryer sheets 
for almost everything you can think of. I, I even use them on my car sometimes to get the bugs off of the front. But the dryer sheets work really, really good to get food off. I know I use the dryer sheet a lot to get some of the soup residue that was left on the big pot. So now the cookies are done, I'm taking them out and I'm going to be placing them on the cooling rack so they can cool and then we'll throw another batch in the oven. At this point you can decide if you want to re-roll your cookies in powdered sugar. For this batch we didn't, we just left them as is, but for the next batch we went ahead and rolled them once again in powdered sugar after they were done baking. This is totally a personal preference. They look a little bit cuter once they've been rolled again because they're more covered in that yummy powdered sugar, but it is a total preference. So I'm just wiping down the countertops and I'm gonna be drying these dishes that I just washed my hand and putting those all away. And then I'm just gonna wipe down this sink, make sure it's all nice and clean before we finish up this video and head on to bed. Now usually we would run our dishwasher during the night, but we didn't fill it up completely and so we were going to wait until the next day and then add some dishes to it before running it. and I'm also leaving these rubber gloves out to dry overnight. Now I'm just wiping down our dishwasher and I've also talked about this little magnetic sign before. One side says, come on in, we're clean, and the other says, sorry, we're dirty. It's just a nice little magnet to have in the kitchen so that the whole house isn't asking five times a day if the dishwasher is clean or dirty. So I went ahead and plated these yummy cookies onto a little heart plate, you know, to go with the Valentine's Day theme we got going on right now. And now I'm just gonna wipe down this powdered sugar off of this rack. And the powdered sugar was everywhere, as you can imagine, on the countertop that I had just cleaned. So I'm just wiping it down and getting it all clean once again. And now I'm using our Musu cordless vacuum to do a really quick vacuum job on the floor in here. I didn't take time to mop because it really wasn't too bad. Um, I thought I would save that for another time and another day, but for now, just doing a quick vacuum job. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this new After Dark Cook and Clean with me. I hope that you guys um, found some cooking and cleaning motivation for today. And if you happen to use the soup recipe or the cookie recipe, please be sure to let me know how you guys liked it. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you all on the next video. Bye guys. Bye.